Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the bad English speaker speaking to you. I'm here to review Boruto, episode 1. So this episode was okay, the first half was pretty much boring, the second half much better than the first. We open up like we open chapter 1, with Boruto fighting Kawaki, the village looking destroyed, like the Man of Steel movie. And Naruto seemingly dead. Then we go back to the past, uh, a couple of years maybe, I don't know, ni ni even on the manga I did not explain how much it passed. And we see Boruto and Shikadai running, uh, running, having fun, and eating a very spicy burger. <laughs> After a while, Boruto sees a man. A boy called Denki being bullied by some kids and tries to help him and succeed. And uh, Borto and Denki become friends, and Denki says that his father is a corporate mogul who is very who is very bad with him. After. Boruto instructs Denki to Okay, uh I'll I'll pass this part. Now Boruto goes back to home, we see his mother, his sister, and know that know that poor kid is still hating because he's not around. Then we pan out to De Denki house and Denki has argument with his father and leaves. And then something weird happened, very, very weird. He is bitten by a purple snakes and becomes mind control. Next day, Porto is the inauguration of the school and Denki, Porto and Denki see each other and Denki acting suspicious. He hops on a train and bribes the children with cash. And off she no cash. Ah fuck. Ah. And Borto follows him. The, this child then he seems to be mind control and and tries to kill them by smashing two trains to one. But Borto managed to help him and succeed on serving the bullies, but <laughs> he's late for his inauguration. But he makes the greatest entrance ever. He he smashes the train <laughs> into his father's statue on Mount Hokage, Mount Hokage, and gets punished for this. The episode ends with the Porto in school. They claim that he's gonna be different for Bo from Naruto. The end. Also, goodbye. <laughs>